A very warm welcome to all of you. It is my privilege to welcome all of you to the 72nd Republic Day. We welcome the director of IIT Bombay, Professor Subhashish Chaudhary, to this function. Mr. Dilip Kherekar and Mr. Rajarun Shinde from security section are escorting him. I request all of you to please stand up during the unfurling of the national flag and the national anthem. Mrs. Pooja Bhatt, Assistant Security Officer, is the parade commander of the platoon, comprising of 18 IIT security guards and security guard boards guards. Together, they will perform the national salute for honoring the tri -clar. I request Professor Subhashish Chaudhary to please address the gathering. Dear students, staff and faculty members, other distinguished visitors here today, we gathered here on a very specific cause to celebrate one of the greatest moment in Indian history that took place in 1950 on this particular day. The day we even today cherish to celebrate our transformation from something which is a dependent people to something of a democracy. The country moved into a form that today even we cherish our freedom. Whatever the constitutional rights that we enjoy today, our equality, this happened because of the wisdom of some of our greatest leaders those days who sat down and wrote the Constitution, and thankfully it was accepted. And today, we are reaping the benefit of that particular great event. Today, on the 72nd anniversary of our Republic Day, I greet you all. I greet all others, particularly students and others who could not come here to celebrate the cause. And the reason that we are here today in IIT Bombay is because the events like this is a remembrance of something that we must cherish. We must try our best to retain the democratic values. 
and we must not allow it to slip it away. Very recently, in one of the greatest democracies, there was a threat. But we are glad that the good sense prevailed finally there also. And this is also our endeavor in this country by all our countrymen, our leaders, to see that the democracy, the fruits of democracy, reach to all of you. Friends, this particular year has been very unusual. We have had, and even having now, the pandemic, which has gripped us, the entire country, and the entire world. And this particular place, IIT, which was always buzzing with activity, is almost like a desert now because of all these students, we had to send them back home. I hope the situation improves and very soon we'll be able to get all of them. We have started getting several of them in the campus, but still we are not open, but our labs are not open, our classrooms are not open, and I hope that no matter where they are, they would be also praying along with all of us, all the people of the world today, that this pandemic goes away when we could be all together again and do our best in terms of what we are supposed to do in IIT Bombay. This particular year also put a lot of our people to test their way of how to make the lives of others very uh, peaceful and safe. And I'm happy to say that a large number of our staff, students, and even associated service people, they have worked very hard to keep the campus safe, that we get our supplies, and also to keep us running. It's been a long protracted battle against the virus. But together with the help of a large number of people, be they are our health, uh, you know, people involved in our health offices, whether they're in the security, there, some of our students' task force, or a faculty task force, or a staff task force, they all worked towards creating an ambience here where we could at least, you know, have a living which was quite safe. Of course, we did lose a few of our friends and colleagues in the campus, which we definitely mourn. But for the rest of us, I think the journey has been very convoluted. But we are happy that the vaccine is somewhere here, and hopefully all of us will get that soon. At IIT Bombay, as we know, the almost that it's closed, but our activities we try to keep it going. Quite a few things were on stoppage, but at the same time, quite a few things are also happening. And our people took advantage of whatever this particular pandemic has created for us. We were one of the first in the world to take this particular opportunity when we realized that we could not have our convocation a physical one, which is the first time in our history, we created a special kind of virtual reality-based uh, convocation that took the attention of the, all over the world, including most of the people in India, and even the Prime Minister himself, his Honorable Prime Minister, has actually congratulated on this great effort. Similarly, our colleagues all over, they took charge to make sure that classes and everything ran in schedule. Our students who are supposed to graduate, they don't lose out. Similarly, those who are in other years, they also you know, complete their semester in time. And for that, I thank all our colleagues, our staff, and also the students to make sure they attend this particular onerous task of having to attend the courses from home or wherever they are through their online exercise. 
It's difficult, but at least we proved we are one of the very few institutions where we made sure that we keep to the regular timetables so that our students are not inconvenienced. At, even though some of our research activities, I'm sure, it's going to take a, some kind of a hit, but our students and faculty members, they are trying their best to make sure whatever they could do during this time. And one of the things that we found that our QS ranking in our world ranking, we're still number one, which is good, but we have miles to go to improve, to see that we are considered as one of the best in the world also. We, have, we are an institute of eminence, and for that, we have been working to make sure that whatever the facility that it will provide, help our students and scientists to take us to higher level. We have been opening several other kind of academic programs. We are trying to be more open in terms of what our students can choose, more options. And very recently, we're happy to see that our Center for Policy Studies got a special donor to take it forward in terms of having its own building and uh, you know, enhanced activity. And I'm sure similar such things would happen in many other cases. A new center called Sea Mines have been established okay, in this time to look at and take leverage of the fact that we have this artificial intelligence and machine learning is one of the new things and to leverage that activity, we wanted to bring our students and all researchers in this particular activity under one umbrella. So I hope that will also take up and get a big boost by the activities that go on here. I'm happy to say that under this particular Republic Day, the Institute is honoring some of our colleagues, some of our staff members, some of our student volunteers for their exemplary services that they have provided, sometimes often risking their own lives, okay, for the benefit of the campus people. The campus is one entity where we all live as one family, and this particular pandemic has proved it, that together, you know, we'll survive this particular epidemic, and again, we'll have full life together very soon. With that high hope, and also this particular special day of Republic Day of 2021, I take this opportunity to greet you all again, and I hope you will have now next year and beyond will be wonderful, and together we can do a lot more things that we could not do over the last year. Thank you very much. Jai Hint. Thank you, sir. Like Professor Subhashi Chaudhary rightly pointed out, life on campus was shaken during the pandemic. Many of our colleagues, friends, their families, our students came forward to extend a helping hand during the challenging days. They not only helped in timely delivery of all the important items, but also helped take all the precautionary measures to curb the spread of the virus and treat the affected ones. I take great pride in inviting a few section heads to receive appreciation certificates from our director, Professor Subhashish Chaudhary, on behalf of their respective sections. The first, Dr. Nisha Shah, Chief Medical Officer, IIT Hospital.
Mr. Pankaj Bosle, Public Health Office. Lieutenant Colonel Raj Kumar Mishra, Chief Security Officer. Radhik Ram Mohan, General Secretary, Academic Affairs, Postgraduate for Student Task Force. Professor Tapanin Dukundu, Dean Student Affairs. Professor George Matthew, please join us. Certificates for all of us. Mr. K.P. Unnitan, Superintendent Engineer, State Office. <laughs> Mrs. Chandra Bhaga Supe from Brian Mumbai Mum Corporation. I wish to inform all of you that the certificates for uh, the Corona Warriors will be distributed in the respective sections. Thank you, sir. Thank you, all of you.